guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to edit mobile view WordPress. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. Now in this case, you might be wondering how do you actually edit your WordPress website here in uh, mobile view? Sometimes if you're unable to edit the actual mobile view, that will be kind of uh, sad for your website because you, if you want to do so, certain customizations, well, you won't be able to do it uh, in your uh, website here on WordPress. Well, well, the first thing you need to do here is if you want to change, like for example, you're just using the ordinary web, uh, uh, editor here for WordPress. So typically we want to go to our appearance here and we want to go to our customize button here. Now, in this case, you should be able to see the customization for your website. Now, in this case, you do have at the very bottom, you have the option to change view here just to have an overview of what's going to look like or what's your website's going to look like. But the thing here is whenever you change something on your website, for example, changing your colors or changing something or hiding a specific section, removing that, that would also affect the other sections for your website. So if you really want to uh, use the, uh, or the ordinary or editor here, it is recommended that you use the additional CSS function. Now, the additional CSS would actually help you determine how uh, a certain element would actually react. But in this case, you need to learn CSS here. So that's the downside here. But the great thing about this one is you'll be, you'll be able to control what's going to look like. For example, I've added this uh, section here, which is uh, calling the media. So that's the actual device itself. So the max speed, uh, whenever it reaches a max speed of 1000 pixels, it's going to change the background to yellow. So in this case, whenever it actually moves into a mobile view, it would, it would actually change the background color to yellow. So whenever I go to the tablet mode here, same thing since it's indicated 1000 pixels. But if I choose the, mobile, the desktop version here, as you can see, it's no longer has that yellow background. Now, in this case, this is the alternative way of ad ad editing your uh, website or your mobile view in uh, WordPress. So this is the first one if you're only using the default editor for WordPress. So if you're using it, for example, you're using Elementor, well, it's a lot easier actually. So what we need to do is we want to go to our pages here that we want to edit. So let me just look for my pages. Let's go to Elementor here. So in this case, let me just search for my pages. So here I am in my pages. So for example, I want to actually edit my sample page that I just, I just recently created. Let's go and click on it. And from here, it should say edit with Elementor. Let's go and click on it. And from here, you should be able to see your uh, website in Elementor. Now, the great thing about Elementor here is at the very bottom, you have the responsive mode. So go ahead and click on it and you now have three options. You have the desktop, we have the tablet version, and we also have the mobile version. Now, for example, I want to click this one, this element, specific element here. So in this case, as you can see in this mode here, we have different buttons. So we have the mobile portrait here. So currently this is what's uh, currently viewing right now. That's what we're currently changing. So I want to go to style here, just to give you an example. And I want to maybe add a section or advance. Let's go to advance here. Maybe I want to change the background. So in this case, let's go add a background here. And we want to maybe add a uh, classic one. And from here, maybe in um, mobile version, I want to add the background here. So let's go choose this photo, click on select. And from here, as you can see, we now have this photo of a cat on a specific section. Now, in this case, whenever we change to a different one, so as you can see, tablet, it's going to be removed. And desktop, it's not also present. Because the great thing about Elementor here is they actually switch or they determine or they actually lets you to uh, determine which uh this specific uh, changes would actually affect so for example we have mobile portrait so since we selected mobile portrait here and upload this image it's going to use that but whenever you click on it it's going to give you option either tablet or desktop so if you choose so switch over to tablet as you can see the background is now removed so you switch over to desktop and switching over to tablet again uh, those are different elements that you can change so yeah so more on the default editor for uh for uh WordPress here, it's more on the manual side, so you might need to use the additional CSS section for it to easily edit it. But if you're you're using Elementor here, it's a lot more it's a lot easier since you'll be able to determine what type or what size you want to edit, like maybe on tablet or mobile phone or maybe in desktop. But yeah, so those are the things that you could do or access here to edit your website in WordPress. And that's about it. 
So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.